What if I told you that in Buddhist teachings, the last digit of your birth year might hold the secrets to your past lives, influencing your current identity and destiny in the realm of spiritual exploration? Your birth year's final digit isn't just a number. It's a gateway to uncovering hidden talents, persistent challenges, and unexplained affinities that may trace back to your former existences. Ever felt a mysterious connection to certain places or had dreams that seemed extraordinarily vivid? These experiences might not be coincidences, but whispers from your past lives delving into Buddhist numerology will explore how this single digit can illuminate connections across your spiritual and karmic journey, offering profound insights and empowering you to understand and possibly resolve challenges carried over from past lives. This journey isn't just about satisfying curiosity, it's a path toward profound personal transformation. Embrace the depths of your past lives and their impact on your present as we uncover how your birth year's loss, T-digit shapes your path and purpose. Are you ready to transform your understanding of yourself and your life's direction? Share your thoughts and join the discussion in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more insights into your spiritual journey. Your experience can feel like a succession of beginnings and endings, each offering opportunities for spiritual advancement. Your current purpose is to utilize your spiritual insights to assist others in finding equilibrium and direction, serving as a beacon for those wandering in their spirit. UL Journeys embrace your role as a spiritual guide, transforming any feelings of emptiness into a profound source of spiritual strength. Affirm your commitment. I am ready to use my connection to infinity to help others find peace and purpose in their lives. If the last digit of your birth year is one you likely held leadership roles in past lives, perhaps as a ruler or commander, this birthmark bestows upon you a natural affinity for leadership characterized by initiative and courage. However, the residue of past power struggles may surface in your cur. Rent life challenging you to lead with empathy. Rather than authority, you may find that despite your efforts, success can sometimes feel just. Out of reach, a karmic reminder that true strength lies in humility and service to others. Leadership for you is about innovation and vision, but it's crucial to balance that with collaboration and openness to others. Ideas, your life's purpose is to lead with compassion and integrity making a positive impact on those around you. Affirm your role by declaring, I lead with integrity and guide others with wisdom and compassion if your birth year ends in two. Your past life roles likely involved peacekeeping, such as a diplomat or counselor. This imbues you with an intrinsic ability to mediate and harmonize conflicting interests, driven by a vision of balance and peace. However, your peacemaking may have historically come at the cost of your own needs, leading to current challenges in assertiveness and boundary setting. This life's lesson is to find balance in self-care and diplomacy, learning to express your truth with both kindness and firmness by mastering. This balance you can help yourself and others achieve. Inner Peace your mission in this life is to embody balance, compassion, and firmness. Embrace your voice and honor your needs to bring harmony to the world affirmation. I create peace and balance while honoring my own needs and truths. If the last digit of your birth year is three, you likely have a profound connection with communication from past lives, potentially as a poet, artist, or speaker. This gift may manifest today as a natural ability to communicate or a passion for artistic expression. How, how, ver, you might also encounter challenges like self-censorship or fear of judgment. Due to past misuse of this gift, your task is to use your communication skills authentically and responsibly, affirmation. I express myself with authenticity and use my voice to inspire and transform. If the last digit of your birth year is four, your past likely involved roles that emphasize building, protecting, and organizing, such as architects or community leaders. This might translate into a present-day need for security and order. However, past experiences of instability could lead. Add to current tendencies toward control your 
Challenge is to trust life's flow and understand that safety and success don't always require rigid control. People with the energy of the number four are naturally responsible and practical, often seen as the problem solvers in family and professional situations. However, this relentless sense of duty can feel burdensome, as if carrying the world's weight on your shoulders. It's crucial for your spiritual growth to learn delegation and trust in others. Embrace flexibility and the universal flow. Enhance. In your life's mission to build with purpose by affirming I build with confidence and accept the flow of life as part of my spiritual growth. If your birth year ends in five, you resonate with the energy of explorers or freedom seekers from past lives. The number five symbolizes change freedom and a restless spirit often translating into a current life, filled with a constant search for novelty and aversion to monotony. This quest may stem from past life restrictions or imprisonments, pushing you to seek freedom in movement. The challenge lies in fee, ending inner freedom, understanding the true. Liberation comes from within, and learning to commit to meaningful paths while maintaining your exploratory essence, affirm I am free in my mind and heart finding balance and purpose in all my journeys. For those ending with the number six, your past life roles likely included healers, providers, or guardians. This number connects with caring, harmony, and family responsibility manifesting in your current life. This energy drives you to create safe, loving environments in any context, your natural inclinati. On to nurture and protect reflects a deep-seated need to uphold harmony and provide care, continuing your legacy of service and love. From past lives in past lives, you may have prioritized the needs of others over your own leading to a feeling of burnout, as if you're constantly giving without equivalent return. This life's karmic lesson is to strike a balance between giving and receiving ensuring you care for yourself and as diligently as you do for others. As a natural healer, your empathy and compassion define you as a loyal friend and a loving P. Artner, yet the burden of carrying others' problems can be overwhelming. Setting healthy boundaries is crucial for your emotional well-being and spiritual journey, allowing you to support others without depleting yourself. Your mission is to harness your, your healing gifts to aid others, while also pursuing self-love and balance. Affirm your commitment to this path by reminding yourself, I care for others with love and balance, and I nurture myself with the same dedication. If the last digit of your birth year is seven, you likely have a deep connection to he. Ailing and mentoring from past lives, this connection often brings a desire for deep introspection and understanding of the human soul. Past roles may include being a solitary healer or spiritual mentor, which now manifest as a tendency toward isolation and a yearning for meaningful connections. The challenge for those with the number seven is to overcome past life seclusion. Embrace opening up and trusting others, sharing your wisdom and healing without eye soul by balancing, giving with receiving. You invite others to support you, enhancing your spiritual growth, E.R., I enforce your intentions with the affirmation I, offer my wisdom to heal and guide while opening myself to receive love and support. In return, this balance can transform your spiritual journey leading to genuine connections and impactful healing. However, the challenge often comes with managing the emotional burden that this deep connection to others can create learning to set healthy boundaries and prioritize your own emotional and spiritual well-being is crucial. The affirmation for the number nine is, I serve with love and wisdom, ensuring my own cup is full to overflow onto others embracing. These karmic lessons allows you to fully utilize the unique energies your birth year's last digit brings enhancing your life and the lives of those around you. Whether it's the ambitious eight or the compassionate nine, your path is rich with potential for growth and fulfillment. This sensitivity can make you susceptible to absorbing the pain and problems of others to continue your spiritual journey effectively. It's crucial to set healthy boundaries and protect your energy. Your life's mission revol. Vez around utilizing your compassion and wisdom to lead, teach, and heal by maintaining a balance between serving others and loving yourself.
You can create a positive impact that radiates outward affirm to yourself, I serve others with love and wisdom while also honoring and taking care of myself. Understanding the last digit of your birth year can illuminate your past lives, guiding your current path with greater clarity about your challenges, opportunities, and soul's true purpose. Apply this knowledge daily to shape karmic patterns towards a harmonious lie. Be aligned with your deepest desires if your number suggests leadership qualities like one or eight. Embrace this. Recognize your ability to guide and inspire others. Be assertive and trust your natural leadership, using past life wisdom to overcome fears and self-doubt for numbers associated with healing or support, like two, six, or nine. Focus on balancing your compassionate nature with self-care. Develop skills in self-reflection and set boundaries to prevent burnout. Ensuring you nurture yourself while aiding others if your number brings specific karmic. Challenges such as four or seven use these as opportunities. For growth, open yourself to new relationships and trust viewing each challenge as a potential for spiritual and personal development. Regardless of your number, remember you have the power to shape your destiny. Embrace the gifts and challenges your number presents, aligning your actions with the insights it offers. Affirm I use the knowledge of my past lives to guide my current journey with wisdom and purpose, thereby intentionally rewriting your story, knowing what the last digit of your birth year are. Evils about your past lives is just the beginning of a much larger journey of self-discovery and transformation. With this understanding, you, you have the opportunity to rewrite the script of your current and future life, creating a new path that is truly aligned with your spiritual purpose. This is not just a chance to reflect on who you were, but also to decide who you want to become. The power is in your hands to build a new story, one that is guided by wisdom, balance, and conscious intention. Imagine for a moment what would be like to live, a life where all your actions are deeply aligned with, your spiritual purpose, where every choice you make is a step toward a destiny that your soul truly desires to reach. This new path, begins with the clear intention to align your mind, body, and spirit with the truths revealed by your number. This means making decisions that resonate with who you are on a deep level, prior prioritizing what nurtures your soul and reflects your true self. Start by defining your highest values and ask yourself what are the things that really matter to me in this life. This new path of purpose requires you to surround yourself with people, environments, and experiences that are in tune with your spiritual growth. By understanding your number and what it represents, you can begin to attract situations of relationships that support this new vision of life. The key is to cultivate an environment that resonates with the energy of who you want to become. If your number reveals a need for healing or spiritual development, seek spiritual communities, mentors or practices that nurture this part of you if your number indicate leadership or innovation surround yourself with opportunities to step into these roles surround yourself with people who inspire you to grow and challenge your own limits to create this new path it is also essential to open yourself to the unknown and be willing to embrace transformation the spiritual journey is dynamic and ever-evolving what you discover about yourself today may change tomorrow as you delve deeper into your spiritual truth. Allow yourself to be flexible and adaptable, recognizing that transformation is a natural part of growth. Remember that self-knowledge is a never-ending journey, and every step you take toward your deepest truth is a step toward a more enlightened future. Creating a new path of purpose and spiritual alignment is an act of courage and self-love. It's about committing to a life that reflects your true self. Not just obligations or external expectations affirm to yourself, I create my path with intention and truth. Guided by the knowledge of my soul, this is the foundation for a journey that honors your past and illuminates your future as you uncover the spiritual way. L meaning of the last digit of your birth year and its implications for your past lives. Remember, this is the beginning of your path to self-integration. 
Use this knowledge to consciously shape your future in alignment with your spiritual purpose. Reflect on the insights gained. Whether it's overcoming karmic challenges or exploring spiritual gifts, each piece adds to the puzzle of your soul knowledge is power use it to set clear intentions for your growth as we wrap up this enlightening journey, exploring the spiritual significance of the last digit of your birth year and its deep connections to your past. Lives remember. This exploration is much more than an intellectual exercise. It's a pathway to profound personal and spiritual transformation by understanding how your birth year's final digit shapes your current challenges and gifts. You have gained invaluable insights into the unique narrative of your soul. Across lifetimes, this knowledge empowers you to navigate your life with greater awareness and intention. It's an invitation to align more closely with your true spiritual purpose, leveraging the data lessons and strengths inherited from your past. Incarnations now armed with these insights, you're better equipped to craft a life that truly reflects your soul's aspiration and to overcome the karmic challenges that have followed you into this lifetime. I encourage you to continue reflecting on the connections and patterns revealed today what resonated most deeply with you, which insights are you ready to embrace and integrate into your daily life, to foster your spiritual growth and personal evolution. Dive deeper set intentional goals, and remem. Bear that every step on this path enriches your understanding of who you are and who you are meant to become if you're ready to take this knowledge and use it to shape a more conscious and fulfilling life. Affirm in the comments, I am empowered. Let's keep the conversation going. Share your number and insights, ask questions, and engage with this community of seekers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos that will help guide you along your spiritual journey together. Let's continue to unravel the mysteries of our past to aisle. Luminate our paths forward until next time. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep growing.